Good afternoon, Good Shepherd. Glad to be with you in this middle of July, uh, getting hot again <laughs> after a brief reprieve and some, some moisture. Anyway, happy to be with you on this, um, this uh, seven, uh, what, what is today? The 13th of July. A um, few notes. Uh, first is I did have a pretty good vacation, was able to um, go and see a concert on 4th of July and uh, to do some hiking and some bicycling and a little bit of fishing and some work on our house. So I'm happy to be back in the, uh, in the saddle here. Uh, just a few things, um, some notices about some stuff coming up. Uh, that you've probably seen in the in the e-news or have heard about in other places, but I really want to highlight some of this. The first thing is um, Vestry will be meeting next week and we'll probably be talking about delegates to our diocesan convention. Um, this comes around every year and we send four delegates uh, to the convention in addition to me um, as, as the rector. Um, and so if you're interested in serving as a delegate, helping the diocese, uh, the Episcopal Church in Colorado make decisions, decisions that may affect us uh, as a congregation, please let me or Jim Wolf know. Um, we can tell you a little bit more about it. The convention is in October, um, the 13th to the 15th, and uh, this year will be held in Pueblo. Um, we're looking to see whether or not there's going to be any online options or anything like that. We don't know at this point, but you may be interested in seeing Pueblo in October. Uh, and so if you have inf uh, any interest, uh, please uh, contact either Jim Wolf or me and we'll be able to fill you in a little bit more about that. Um, I, again, looking a little further down the road, um, and this has been in the, uh, in the news, um, we've been having, not having faith form during July, having some, some time off to, to refresh and recuperate, but uh, beginning in um, August, um, we'll have a three week session uh, that uh, Bishop Chris, Chris Epting will um, be offering. And it's um, on how the New Testament came to be written and put together. Um, and I think it'll be a, a really good uh, set of conversations. And he's not suggesting that you buy this book, but you might be interested in the book, um, The New Testament, A Very Short Introduction. <laughs> um, Luke Timothy Johnson is the, uh, is the author. He's a, a wonderful scholar and a wonderful writer, and this is a very accessible book. So if you want to you have that book, um, in addition to just coming to those sessions, um, you're welcome to go ahead and take a look for it. And again, the link to where you might find that book will be in the, in the e-news. Um, and those sessions will, of course, follow uh, the nine o'clock service or around 10, 15, but that doesn't start until August. We have a few more weeks of vacation. One of those weeks between now and the beginning of August is July 31st. And this year, that's a fifth Sunday. And so we have um, fifth Sunday worship coming up uh, on this last Sunday of, of uh, July. So in a few weeks, um, fifth Sunday, we'll have youth sermon, youth, different music, different kinds of youth participation. It's always great fun um, for youth Sundays. So that'll be at nine o'clock um, on that last Sunday of July, which is the 31st this year. Um, this coming Sunday, uh, we've got, uh, it's the third Sunday of the month, um, and uh, third Sunday has generally been healing prayers. And so after, uh, after coming up for communion um, in the main service, uh, after you've received communion, you can go over to the right-hand side as you're looking at the altar, over to the right-hand side of the, uh, of the sanctuary, and there will be somebody there to offer healing prayers with and for you. So if that's something that you would like to uh, participate in, know that that happens this Sunday. Um, and then um, just one last uh, announcement is that uh, next Tuesday is our monthly uh, week of service at St. Clair's. And we can always use additional folks to go down and help serve those folks at St. Clair's. So if you're interested in doing that, um, talk to Deacon Nadine um, or Shelley Hitt, um, and that uh, they'll be able to give you the time uh, constraints and all of that. It will probably show up in e-news as well tomorrow. But I did want uh, to really highlight um, some of those things that we don't see all that often, you know, the highlight of the healing prayers, highlight of the St. Clair's help. So um, if that is of interest to you, again, please see Deacon Nadine um, 
or Shelly Kitt for the, the healing or for the St. Clair's help. Um, and then if you're interested in healing prayers for you or a loved one, um, that will be coming up this Sunday following the, the Eucharist, uh, following communion, receiving communion. Um, I'm going to close today because we are in that time of the year when we do a little bit more rest, uh, or we hope that many of us do. There is, uh, you may not know this, but there is a prayer in the prayer book um, for the good use of leisure. And I'm going to close with that prayer today. Oh God, in the course of this busy life, give us times of refreshment and peace. And grant that we may so use our leisure to rebuild our bodies and renew our minds, that our spirits may be opened to the goodness of your creation. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.